Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. And thank you for spending some time with me today. I appreciate you, really do. Today, we're out in Pasco, Washington, and we're visiting the homeboys. And um, this home that we're standing in right now is built by Clayton from the Tempo series, known as Moving On Up. So let's move on outside. So I can tell you all about this home. And look at that. That is the exterior of the Move On Up built by Clayton Homes. And what I'm looking at is a nice 312 pitch roof, some vertical siding, and a craftsman door entryway. That's pretty nice. But like I said, this is the Moving On Up from the Tempo series, and it's built by Clayton West. This is a three bed, two bath that sits at 1,080 square feet. The dimensions of this home. 72 feet by 16 feet and the base price for this model is hundred and thirteen thousand dollars let's go take a home tour where's will everybody let's see what the interior of the move on up has to offer walking in i'm seeing an open concept floor plan of course in the single wide we've got eight foot sidewalls with a flat ceiling and a good amount of room in this living room. As a matter of fact, the size of this living room is 13 feet, five inches by 15 feet. And hey, before we really get going, do me a favor and hit that like button. It helps me out, helps the channel out, helps get this video out to more people. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell. So then that way, You'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted, and you'll be able to see these as soon as I release them. Now, spinning around back to this kitchen and dining room area, um, it's looking pretty nice. Now, I say dining room area. There's really no true dining room area, but what they've done with this island, it's, it's, it's an eat-in counter island. There are room for four seats two on one side, two on the other. And now we're taking a look at the stove oven combo. We've got a glass top there with a nice industrial style range hood. As you see, this home is set up for the stainless steel appliance package, but you know, in that ordering process, you could change that for black or white or whatever color they have to offer that you would like. So taking a look inside of the cupboards here, they're nice and deep. Um, good amount of space for your canned goods and so forth. We have a, a regular size dishwasher, a nice dual sink here with a gooseneck faucet, and a nice little window above to let that natural light in and to stare off into space as you do your dishes. Taking a look inside this cupboard again, good construction, um, good quality materials, plenty of room. Taking a look at the drawers, same thing as well. Good quality, good construction. The flooring here in this home, it is a Congolian flooring. So it's actually a very strong um, linoleum flooring that they're using. So that's always good. But like I was saying, taking a look at this island here, one side you have seating for two. And then on the other side, you have an area for two more. And it doesn't seem like, especially if you're gonna use stools, it won't be in the way of cooking. So that's kind of nice. In my opinion um, they're really trying to maximize the space because of course you know in a single wide you're you're you have a very limited space and so far they're doing a great job with that um, spinning around into the uh, laundry room utility room we have a nice um, shelf right above the area for your side by sides which is has plenty of room for them so that's pretty nice and then of course you know there's some options and some things that you could change about this home and if you want to know more about that um, there's a link in the description below Click on that, it'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see a uh, 3D tour, take a look at some photos we did, some video, and most importantly, get that pricing directly from a retailer and to find out where you can see this home in person. Now we're walking down the hallway, which is nice because we had a few windows there, which is always great. And then in this first bedroom right here, we're taking a look at the size of this one is nine feet by 15 feet. It's a good amount of space, I'd have to say. I mean, and we have a, a twin bed right there, so that kind of gives you a good representation of where uh, that would be, how much room you'd have in this room. So that's nice. And then walking into the uh, closet here, a little small. We have wired shelves here, but it'll do the job. You know, we have a... Uh, this home is uh, fully taped and textured. It's not board and batten, which is nice. I did notice that the um, air vents, the registers are coming from the floor in this home. So that's where your air and heating are coming from. And then we're gonna take a look at the gas bath here. Um, it's a normal standard gas bath that it's about five feet across 
um, which is a good amount of room for one. You know, we have an elongated toilet there and um, an area underneath the sink for a little bit of storage there. And then, of course, you have your standard, um, your, uh, actually, excuse me, not standard. This one is an oversized tub shower combo. So it's a little bigger than that 30 by 60, 60, probably about 36 inches. So a little bit bigger than the, uh, than the standard size. Like what they've done with this, very family oriented with the uh, with the staging of this uh, guest room. That's really nice. And like I said, we have some windows in the hallway. That's always uh, a good thing in a uh, single wide. And now spinning around into the uh, second one. This one's the smallest one of the house, of course. And this is um, still, I mean, that's a uh, that's a twin bed sitting in the middle of the room. So it gives you a good representation of how much room you have here. It is nine feet, one inches by 11 feet. Um, and that would be great. It, and if you work from home, you know, if, if you're just a couple in this home, this would be a great, you know, home office, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, that's great. Uh, going into the closet here, we find that is where your water access is. So in this closet, that's where you get to it. That's pretty cool. I mean, so far, so good in the single wide. I'd, I'd have to say Clayton's done a pretty good job on the space management because, like I said, it's always tight. Um, what do you guys think about this home? Let me know in those comments below. What would you change about it, would you? You know, the colors, what do you think? Let me know, let me know. Now, of course, we are walking back to the other side of the home over here, and we are going to be passing this door right here, which happens to be... Ta-da! That is where your um, HVAC unit is. So that's where your heating and air is uh, situated right next door to you. And then they have this little nook here. I don't, I don't, uh, maybe mops, brooms, uh, vacuum storage, but I've never seen this like tiny little nook there. Maybe that's what it's for. What would you use it for? Let me know. And then of course, here's the primary. Now the primary size is 10 feet, one inch by 15 feet and again we have a queen size bed in here and that's your space representation a good amount of space so it's really nice a good amount of room now let's take a look now the only thing of course is your um, your primary closet is going to be in the bathroom so we're going to take a look at that in a moment but taking a look in here you have your your standard like I think that's like a 42 inch shower you have your elongated toilet a nice uh, mirror right there and taking a look in here nice decent amount of room uh, for a single wide we've got a uh, wired shelves which is good spin around we have a nice little uh, window in here letting some more breeze in Always appreciate that in any kind of home is a, a window in the restroom. And then taking a look at the shower, see? Standard shower, looking pretty nice. Everything comes with it. Um, what do you think? This is a pretty decent home built by Clayton. I haven't had a chance to um, tour this one, so this is the first time I've been in it. I'm actually impressed. I like it. So, nice. Coming through the house, taking one last glance while we walk through. Really nice. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. I truly appreciate all the support, all the views, and everything I really do. Um, and we're going to see you next time, wherever that home tour is going to be. But, of course, in the meantime, remember to live smarter, choose manufactured, travel easy, and have a wonderful day, everybody. I'm going to see you next time.